Earl, a short play by Bertie Chesson. Dedicated to Earl Pearson, 1977 to 1995. Cast, Earl, me, mom, Earl's mom. Part one. It was a nice day today. The sun had finally come out after it rained for five days straight. I wanted to play outside badly. Me. Mommy, can I go outside and ride my bike? Mom, are you finished with your homework? Yes, Mom. While we were waiting for my answer from Mom, I stayed in the same spot looking out the window. My mom's voice echoed behind me. Okay, honey, just be back by dinner time when the street lights come on. While watching all of the children playing, my eyes stopped at Earl, a kid from the neighborhood. I can see that he's bald-headed. I mean, all the way bald. Me, out loud. Okay, Mom. Thinking. That's funny. I said to myself, well, last time I saw him, he had a head full of hair. I went outside, walked over to him. Hey, Earl, what happened to your hair? Earl looks down. It fell out. What do you mean, fell out? I mean, how? He put his head down. I got cancer. I scratched my head. I thought only grown-ups get that. Earl spoke up. Nope, kids get too. When I was in the hospital, there were a lot of kids like me in there. Wow, Earl, does it hurt? Yes, it does. But my mom stayed with me and I made lots of friends. We were there for each other when one of us felt sicker than the rest of us. But... There were some really hard days. The doctors told me that I'm in remission, and that means I'm okay, so I'm home now. I saw that Earl was just like me. Earl is a kid that likes to have fun and play. He went to school, he did his homework, and he had a family that loved him. Yes, he was like me. Everyone wanted to wanted him to get better. I wanted him to get better. Well, Earl, I'm glad that you're home. Do you want to ride our bikes together? Earl smiled. Oh, yeah. He grabbed his bike and rode ahead of me, and we played together until dinner time every day. Earl, part two. Earl and I have been best friends for quite a while now. We go to school together, we do our homework together, and we play sports together. One day, while outside playing basketball, I saw that Earl was not feeling well. I made a shot, and instead of trying to block me, he sat on the ground, tired. This was weird to me because Earl wins all the time. Me. Earl, are you okay? Earl. I'm fine. Do you mind if I go home now? Yeah, sure, I'll walk home. Earl picks up his bike, and as he begins to ride away, he falls on the ground. Earl! Earl! I yell. I run over to him. Now I know you're not feeling well. Please don't tell my mom, Earl pleads. Promise me. Earl, now you're scaring me. Please, just promise me. Earl's eyes were so sad. Okay, Earl, just let me help you home. After that day, now when Earl and I went outside to play, he just sat around. He looked sad and tired all the time, even in school. Every day I'd see him looking exhausted. I'd say to him, let's go, Earl. And I walked him home. Earl was not getting any better. I knew that I had to tell my mom. I got home and I opened my mouth. Mom, go wash your hands first, she interrupted. As I washed my hands, I was thinking. I knew that Earl didn't want me to talk to anyone about it, but I knew something was wrong with him. I walked into the kitchen. Mom, I think that Earl is sick again. What? He's always tired and he keeps falling down. I begin to cry. I promise that I wouldn't tell on him. Telling me is what makes you a good friend to Earl. What if his cancer is back? Then you might have saved his life. The next day, I didn't see Earl. He didn't come to school. He wasn't outside. After days of not seeing him, I knocked on his door. His mother answered the door. 
and she spoke in a soft voice. Earl is in here, sweetie. I put my head down. Is he in the hospital? Yes, dear. Can I see him? Earl would like that. We'd have to ask your mom first, but I don't see why not. My eyes lit up. Thank you. I'll ask her as soon as I get home. I began to walk away. She clears her throat. I turn around. Earl's mom. Thank you for telling your mama. I know that it wasn't easy. After hearing that, I felt good. You're welcome. I got on my bike and went home. A few weeks later, when I was able to go to the hospital to see Earl, he was bald again. Hi, Earl, I said. He still looked tired. Hey, I'm sorry for telling Earl, but I had to tell. It's okay. I shouldn't have asked you to keep that secret. I looked down. Is the cancer back? Earl looked at me. Yes. I wanted to cry, but I didn't want Earl to feel bad. My eyes hurt, but I walked closer to Earl. Will you be okay? Earl smiled. I'll get better. Just watch. I pat him on the shoulder and said seriously, I care about you, Earl. You're my best friend, and I hope you feel better soon. After a slight pause, so I could beat you in basketball, we both laughed. So I started to walk towards the door. Hey, he shouted. Hold this for me. He grabbed his basketball by the bed and threw it to me. I caught it and smiled. It's safe with me, Earl. It'll be waiting for you when you come back. I left the hospital. I was so happy that I saw him. He's my best friend and he needs me to be there for him. So I will be there for Earl. Earl, part three. I wish that the sun was shining, but it was raining outside today. And I wished that I could ride my bike over to my best friend Earl's house. But he was still in the hospital. So I just laid on my bed and stared at the ceiling. I looked over at the basketball that Earl gave me. I thought of my promise to take care of it for Earl until he came back. My mom walked into my room. Mom, I have to talk to you. I sit up. Yes, mom? It's about Earl. Yes, she looks down. He's gone. I stand up. What do you mean, Mom? Gone? I begin to cry. Gone, Mom? She walks over to me. She gives me a hug. Tears are in her eyes as she holds me, and she whispers, Yes, sweetie, Earl is gone. You mean I won't see him again? No, you won't see him, dear. I cry harder. I slowly pull away from my mother. Can I be alone? Are you sure? Yes, mom. I need to be alone. She looks me in the eyes. Okay, 10 minutes and I'll be back to check on you. Okay. I begin to cry again. I walk over to my shelf to see the ball that Earl gave to me. I take it into my arms and curl into a ball and fall asleep. The next morning, my mom took me to Earl's house. I wanted to say goodbye. Earl's mother is sitting down, holding his little brother. Her eyes are red from crying. Looking at me, she gets up. She walks over to me and gives me a hug. I try to hand her the ball that Earl gave me. She looked me in the eyes. You were Earl's best friend. He wanted you to have it. Thank you, I said. I take a deep breath. She hugged me tight. Earl's mom. That hug is from Earl. Me. Thank you. That hug made me feel good. As my mother and I walked home, I sobbed quietly, wiped my eyes, and held my head high. Sometimes I still cry. I'd ride my bike every day, play basketball. I'd do all of the things that Earl loved to do. And even though I'm still sad, Earl wouldn't want me to stay home and cry all of the time. I still have the ball that he gave me. I promised that I would keep it safe, so I always will. I miss Earl so much. I think of my best friend Earl and what he meant to me. And how I enjoyed all of the times that we had.
Earl's memory is with me and I will never forget him.